Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be going over the top 10 earners in the history of the PDC. In this video, we're going to go through how much they've earned and when their debut was. If you want any other videos to do with debuts and stuff, I'd love to go through that as well. So let me know in the comment section below. And we're going to go through how much money they've earned, how many moolahs, because it's all about that money. Anyway, guys, if you do enjoy this video, leave a like on it, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's get into this. So coming in, in the number 10 spot, we have the Australian Simon Whitlock. Now he made his PDC debut in the PDC World Championships 2003. So he's coming into his 20th year in the PDC. And over the last 20 years, he's made himself a nice little £2,458,100, which is not too bad for Simon. He's been around for a very long time. He's one of the most liked players on the tour and he can bang 180s in. So everyone likes watching him. Everyone likes to see him play. And he's got a really cool hairdo and beard and stuff. So yeah, Simon Willock is your number 10. Coming in at number nine, we have one of the most famous dart players of all time. His name is Raymond Van Barneveld. I'm sure you've heard of him. If you know darts, or even if you don't know darts, you probably know who Raymond Van Barneveld is. He made his debut, technically made his PDC debut at the World Match Play in 1997. But then after that, he went back to the BDO, won four World Championships, and then come back officially at a Players' Championships event in November 2005. So Barney has been in and out of the PDC for the past 18 years, and he's earned himself a nice little wedge. £3,306,590 is what he has earned in prize money in the PDC. And here's your number nine spot. Coming in at number eight, we have Michael Smith. He is the current world champion, obviously. Half a million pounds he won only a week ago. Lots and lots of money to be earned in the darts nowadays. Um, he made his debut in a UK Open qualifier in 2008. 14 years ago now, and he has earned himself £3,361,800. Not, not bad. Not bad for someone who's, what, 32, 33, something like that. Pretty good money, that, to be honest. Next, it is Jackpot Adrian Lewis, my favourite dart player of all time. He is in the number seven spot. He made his debut at a UK Open qualifier in January 2004, which means that he's coming into his 19th year as a PDC player. And he's earned himself a good amount of money. He's, earned, he's won two world championships. Uh, he's won a lot of other pro tours and events and stuff. And he has earned himself a nice three million three hundred seventy-four thousand. £885 in that time space. Well done, Adrian. Coming in at the number six spot, we have everyone's favourite ear defender wearer. That is Gerwin Price. He has only been playing darts in the PDC for nine years. He made his PDC debut at qualifying school in 2014. And on this whole list, he's the only player who's, who's been in the PDC for less than 10 years. In fact, Michael Smith's second place in 14 years. So nine years for Gerwin Price. That's not a lot of time to make a lot of money, but he's done pretty well. Well doing that he clocks in at an earnings of three million five hundred and thirty seven thousand and five hundred pounds not bad for just under 10 years work he's done pretty well there fair play Garen price he's on number six on this list next up we have one of the most consistent dart players in the history of pdc darts his name is james wade he made his debut at the pdc eastbourne open back in 2002 meaning that he's coming into his 21st year as a professional and in that time in those 20 21 years he's earned four million three hundred and twenty seven thousand seven hundred and eighty pounds not bad not bad i think he's won like nine majors or something eight or nine i always forget it's always it's either eight or nine but he's won himself a load of majors he's got himself to a few semi-finals of the world world championships and he's just consistent he just wins a lot of stuff he doesn't you, you, you don't often see him lose games that he shouldn't be losing He's a very, very consistent player. Just over four million pounds in the last 21 years. That's not bad at all. Next up, we have the Flying Scotsman in at number four, Gary Anderson. A lot of people love Gary Anderson. Um, he's starting to slow down a little bit now, but we still love Gary. We still love Gary. He made his PDC debut in 2002 in September at a UK Open qualifier. So I'm going to say that again because I completely said that backwards. He made his PDC debut at a UK Open qualifier in September of 2002, meaning that he also, along with James Wade, has been in the PDC for 21 years and he's earned himself a cool £4,865,725 
in the past 21 years playing darts in the PDC in events. Not bad. Just shy of 5 million. We'd like to see Gary get 5 million before he retires. That's that's the goal. That's the goal, Gary. That's the goal. Next up, we have another Scotsman. His name is Peter Wright. Uh, Two-time world champion. Played a lot of darts in his sort of later years in his career. Done really, really well. He is number three. And uh, he made his PDC debut at the Vauxhall Autumn Pro in 2004. Back then, you see with the Eastbourne Open and a few of the other things, they were PDC events back in the day. They're not anymore, but 2004 is when he made his debut, giving him 18 years in the PDC this year. And he has earned himself a nice 5 million two hundred and ninety five thousand six hundred and twenty five pounds in prize money since then not bad not bad not bad peter well done next up at number two we've got a player who people might be slightly surprised isn't in the number one spot but given how prize money is nowadays compared to back in the day it's understandable his name's phil taylor you might have heard of phil taylor he's been playing darts for quite a while and he made his pdc debut at the pdc uk masters 1992 this was when the split happened probably the first tournament after the split and uh, yeah he retired in 2018 from the pdc giving him 26 nice long years in the pdc and uh, yeah phil taylor he has earned himself a call seven million five hundred and eleven thousand four hundred and seventy five pounds in the pdc that's not bad is it not bad seven and a half million I'd like seven and a half million. Think of what you could buy with seven and a half million quid. So that's Phil Taylor in the number two spot. And in the number one spot, of course, everyone's mind has gone straight to this player. Uh, there's only one player left who we can talk about, and that is the Dutchman, mighty Michael Van Gerwen. He made his PDC debut at a UK Open qualifier in November of 2006, meaning, meaning that he's been in and out of the PDC for the past 17 years. He spent a good amount of time at world number one. He's won three world titles. He's one of the best players to ever play the game of darts. And he has earned himself, get ready for this, £10,312,300 in prize money alone. Ten million. Ten million. That's a lot of money. Anyway, guys, if you like this list and you want to see me do more lists like this, then please leave a like on it. Let me know in the comments section below and subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.